question came up over and over and over. And it came up a lot. And it's the, I hear folks say this, how much do you know for me to stay in my house? Now, isn't that something I thought, why would a question that? I'm hearing folks say, I only want to do one. I'm going to go to the doctor and go Change my mind. Cheryl was looking at me, so I'm going to come up here. Where's she looking? Uh oh. Uh oh. Pick on Cheryl. I'm sitting. No, I, I don't. I, I want you. No, come, come on, Cheryl. I, I want you to ask one question. That's why I directed it. How much do we have to give? We have to give all, and we don't have to give anything. I like what she said. Like what she said. Mm. Well, she makes me think. Man, I told Michael here in the truck, I said, Cheryl, she just, woo, she gets me going. But I freed off of that girl. Okay. I like what Cheryl said. Like what, what Cheryl said. I worked on some stuff at last night, and I was going to, I was going to, I had it. But I was up there, and it changed on me. It changed on me, and it scares me more than the Lord does that to me. Because it makes me feel I'm like I'm not prepared. But here's where we're going tonight, and I like what Cheryl said. Here's where I'm going to start. Here's what she said. Everything and then we don't have to give anything. Cheryl, explain to them what you how you meant, meant, Cheryl. Well, we give all we have to God, but really, He gave it to us for free. We, we didn't cost us one thing. It cost us son, it cost him, it cost us son. It didn't cost you anything. Amen. But it cost us. I mean, we we have we have to do His will. Amen. So that's it. We have to do everything we can. Amen. And see, now, because she spoke, I don't, I don't even have to speak, but I'm going to. I'm going to. Woo! Charles, absolute, she's absolutely right. I was speaking to a person on the phone, and not just one person. I'm seeing this. I'm, I'm hearing folks say that without saying that. How much do I have to give? And let me start by saying this. The Lord was already in heaven, right? He came down to save our souls. He did what? He gave all he had to give. And the Lord expects our very best. But here's, here's what I'm going to add to what Cheryl said. You can't do enough. That's why he's going to give it to us through mercy and grace. But who controls that? The Lord. And I like what she said. He paid the price. He paid it all. And I'm hearing folks say, well, Daryl... I want to only I, I want to only do enough to get me into heaven. I tell them hey, you can't do enough because it's just like what Delta says. You can't earn it. Yeah. It's given to us, but He wants our very best. He wants us to try. But what is our very best, though, guys? Just as a people, we're the people. Yeah. I don't think our very best is ever enough. I mean, if our best is enough, then that would be what God would require from us. Got you. Here's what the Lord wants. Here's what he wants. And I, I want to stop. Before I say I'm stop here. Hey, when we ate back there, I saw Cheryl's little grandchild. And that one little girl was just like Cheryl. And I sat back and I thought Cheryl was playing with her. And she had her little Hey, you didn't see my face when I laughed. And I said, it's just like Cheryl. Her hair was even like Cheryl's. And I, I told Michael when I got him, I said, you should have saw the look on Cheryl's face. And then... Not just did I see that, and I saw, hey, when Jesse, hey, was down in old small grand, old small grand, she was on that side, but she was up there. Now they were. And I'm going to talk about, and I've watched the pastor on different occasions, and I'm looking at our children and our grandchildren. I'll tell you guys the truth. When I go to Wichita that little granddaughter of mine, she's got me right now. She makes me holler outside. Anything she wants to do, I try to do it. But let me say this. We're operating then, y'all were, out of love, right? And when we're messing with those little grandchildren, do we ever say, how much do I have to do? No, right? We can't do enough. I watch my little grandbaby now. She can eat by herself, and I, I get down and, and I can see her and I'll grab her. 
at this point, I'll say, I don't have to. She said, no, I can do it. Papa, no, I can do it. And she'll feed herself, and I'm sitting there, and I'm always showing him, no, Papa, I can do it. We can't do enough, right? Because we're operating what? Out of love. That's where the Lord wants us operating out of. If we're operating out of love, do we stop to think, how much do I have to do? How much has enough? Why? Because at that point, because we're operating out of love, we what? We can't do enough. And I'm, a, and I'm going to go back to what Charles said. Because heaven is such a wonderful place, because that price that was paid for our salvation, because we're humans, because of sin, that price is so great, we can't pay it. It has to be gave to us through Jesus Christ. And he finished. He has given it to us if we'll accept it and believe. But what does he want us to accept and believe? That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe it in him shall not perish but have eternal life. What is that? That's a love story, right? He wants us to believe in what? That he so loved the world, right? And in turn, he wants us to what? Just love somebody. Just do the best you can. I know you're going to fall short. It's like Cheryl said, you can't do enough. Daryl, we're all going to fall short. But here's what he's saying. If you will go around and do the best you can, just operate out of love. And let me stop for a second and let me ask this. I asked myself the question this week. How many chances can we maybe we seriously have a chance to or impact someone, or do something for someone. If you really stop to think about it, you're not really doing it. And, and I hear folks often say, well, I can't do, do all of that. Here's what the Lord is saying. I know you can't do a lot. And, and I know you can't do it. That's why I sent you. That sidewalk, the Lord knew I couldn't do it. I'm just going to send somebody who know they can't do it. I don't want you to think that you can do it. I know you can't. All you have to do is try. If you'll try, he's going to give us all the help we need. If we will just make an honest attempt to love people, to do the best that we can, he's going to do the rest. And let me stop for a second before somebody asks me this. I'm not saying you've got to do this to get to heaven. That's not going to get you to heaven. It won't. You can't do enough. He's got to give it to us. But here's what he wants us to do. In, in our time as we wait for him to do the best that we can to love somebody. And let me hey, go back to just a few minutes. As we're operating out of love, I stop to think about that time I get to spend with her. No matter how much she asked me to do, I recall there was one day I, I was going into the farm to shop and her mom said to me, you can't go outside. But then she was determined that she wanted to go outside. She said, it's, it's hot out there, Mom, and you can't go. And my little girl said, Daddy, she said, I could always call her that. She said, if, if you want to take care of her, take care of her. She wasn't out there crying. She said, I'll call her. Let's go inside. And she laughed. And, 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 and I hauled her inside. But here's my point. As we operate out of love, it, that changes the whole world. It changes everything. Because... The spirit and the flesh are war warring with each other. If we're operating out of the flesh, we have that mindset, right? But, but if we can get to where we're operating out of love, as we do it, what's going to happen? As I did that sidewalk, you will be blessed for it. It's not a chore at all. You are going to get to a place where you're going to We'll receive joy and satisfaction. And I'll, I, I'm going to stop just for a second and folks say, well, how do, you, how do you get there? Here's what helps me every day. I always prayed at night, but now before I begin my day, I pray in the morning. Here's what I'm finding. I heard him say my prayer this morning. He said, the more we pray, the better the more we pray. And that's, that's you know, the key of, as I age and I have different ages at that time, what am I saying? I'm beginning to mature more and more. And here's what I'm saying. The more I try to act out of love, it changes things. Now, 
Why does the Lord want our very best? Because he did wrong to us, right? Now here's where I'm going with that, guys. The same amount of grace and mercy that we extend to somebody else. The amount of love that we stand before him. That's what he's saying when he says that that's not. Now here's what he's saying. He knows we're going to fall short. I'm not saying our salvation is based upon how much we do. But here's what he's saying. Just make an honest attempt. Just like Cheryl said. Here's the point. If you can't do anything that he don't expect, then submit. He only sends those things your way that he knows you can do. Right? He's not going to put more upon you than what you can bear. And even in those things, we're going to fall short. right? But he wants us to what? To make an honest attempt. Now, as I was here and as I was getting ready to come down off the floor, this is scary to go and speak tonight because I'm not prepared for it. He said, that's what's wrong with you guys. You're never going to be prepared. I don't care how much you study, how much work you put in to get the right skill set. You're never going to be able to do enough. Our best isn't going to be enough. He's given it all to us if we'll just accept it, but we need to know where it comes from comes from him. His mercy, his grace, his love, it's all going to come from him. And at the end of his of our lives, here's what I want the world to know. And I like what she said, our very best, all the all that we have. We can't do enough. That's why it's so important that we do our very best. He just asked that we try our very best. Why? Because he gave us our very best. And Cheryl I'm going to say this. I hear folks say this. The law was strict. We couldn't get there. Under the law. I got news for you. Love is even stricter and harder than what the law is. If your faith is not in the Lord. Because I'm going to tell you something, guys. It's hard to love people sometimes. It's hard, isn't it? Even with the Lord. Amen. Amen. And, and <laughs> hey, that's why there's mercy and there's grace. Because it's hard. We can't do enough. We're going to fall short. But if we can just try. And let me say this, guys. Let me say this. I was talking to a person this week. How we handle ourselves impacts that so much. Here's what came up. And I'm going there just for a short time. And I'm going to bring this up to us. Me and Cheryl had a small deal last Sunday. How we handle things that happen to important how we handle it. It's so important if we've wronged somebody to go back and ask for forgiveness. It's so important if they, how we handle things because here's what I'm hearing folks also say. Cheryl, there are folks out there who just don't care. And I want to say this. If, if you don't, if you hurt somebody's feelings, if you don't care what's up in there, why do I say that? If, if it's something wrong. The Bible says what? You are to love your neighbor as you love yourself. If somebody wrongs you and hurts your feelings, hey, you care about it. But we should also care if we wrong that to somebody else. Now, I heard Cheryl say that. It's hard. But let me say this. How we handle things, how we conduct ourselves is so important. Because let me say this. Believe it or not, guys, we are walking around with a big red target on our back. And what do I mean by we're walking around with a big fight in the world? We are here to show the world to be an example of the way in which we love for Christ. And I like what Cheryl said. I'm not saying that we're going to be perfect. We're not. Just like I said, I'm going to offend Cheryl. She's me, I'm me. But I'm going to do the best that I can to make it right. Why am I going to to do the best that I can to make up. It's not just for my and Cheryl's relationship. There are other folks who is. There are other people who learn from what we do. There are other folks who are going to repeat what we do. Oftentimes, there are going to be things that's going to happen between Cheryl and I for other folks to see and learn from how things are handled. And I enjoy it. As a kid, I remember 
My mother would spank me. She'd tell me, don't ever talk back. And I said as a kid, if I ever get grown, I'm going to talk back. I'm going to say what's on my mind. Hey, we all said it, right? <laughs> now we're grown and we don't want to talk back. Let's tell somebody about the Lord. We got an opportunity to talk back, but we won't do it. Guys, it's time we talk back, but it's time we share the story. Our story is a story of love. Our story is to show the world how much the Lord loves us and gave his only begotten son. And that if we could just make an honest attempt, just do the best you can. Just love somebody. Here's what the Lord is saying. Don't be concerned about how much do I have to do. Have I done enough? Just get out there and do all you can and trust in me, have faith in me, you love me with all your mind, your heart, and soul, and you love your neighbor as you do yourself, and I got you. I'll take care of the rest. Why? Because I'm going to give this to you. Why am I going to give you your salvation? Simply because I love you. Because you can't do enough. Because you blew it before you got started. You can't do enough. But there's mercy and grace. And there's also what? There's my love for you. You can't do enough. But here's what he wants us to do operate out of love. And let me read this one scripture. I hear folks say this. For the flesh will lust again. That's the spirit. And these are contrary to each other so that you do not do, do things that you wish. And let me say this. We have the Holy Spirit as our guideline. Things are going to happen. We can't always do what we want. But here's what we are, we are to do. We have a guide. I heard that person say, there's people who offend me and I give them a second chance. And they come right back and they offend me and they know what they're doing. And they do it over again. If we're led by the Holy Spirit, I may offend Cheryl one time. And I may even offend her a second time. But it won't be with the same thing. It's going to be something I, I didn't know about. I'm sorry. But here's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to offend Cheryl and then find out I have did this and come back and do the same thing over again, right? If I do, then I'm not led by who? The Holy Spirit. Why? Because I love her, right? I'm not here to uh, offend Cheryl. I'm here to what? To love Cheryl. Hey, to build Cheryl up and Cheryl is to help me and I am to help Cheryl. Do what? Get through this life as best we can. To love each other, to be an example, right? To build others up. To show people how to love each other. And let me say this, guys. I have learned so much from you guys. And that's what we're here for. To learn, to grow, to share, to be here for each other. But not just for each other. For also who? The world. There is a great responsibility that is placed upon us. And a whole lot of people try to shun that responsibility. And say, I'm only here for me. I'm only here to get to heaven. I only want to do what I have to do. Daryl, how much do I have to do? I'm going to tell him, Cheryl said it, which you should have been there. You can't do enough. And then you don't have to do anything at all because he gave it to you. If you'll just accept it. Just love somebody. Just be an example. Help somebody. Those deeds, and, I need, and let me say this, they won't get you to heaven. If you start today and do them until the end of time. But if you do them out of love, then are they deeds? I watched Cheryl when she was playing with small Cheryl. And what, I don't know her name, but I bring this up and I tell my name, Cheryl is kind of little Cheryl. I call her what? Oh, little Cheryl. But it's the truth, right? Cheryl, you can't do enough, right? The more you do for her, the more you want. And I know it. And then here's what happened. And there's folks who say, well, I don't know how to love. Really? If you've got kids and grandkids, yes, you do. You know how to love them. The Bible says we are to love others as we do ourselves, right? And that's like that's like what Cheryl said. That's a whole lot, and you can't do it enough. But here's what I found, guys. He's a wonderful God. He's a gracious God. He's a fair God. He's a just God. And he understands our flaws. Why does he understand us so well? He made us, right? He made us who we are. And he knows what each one of us can do. And he expects 
to do what he has put there. And he knows that we're going to fall short, but he wants us to do the best that we can. And if we can just stop for a second, and here's my example, here's what I hope we take from this. As we go about our way, let's stop and think as, as these situations arise, I don't want to think of my little grandmother. And she can go now. She can run her own house. And there's sometimes a very last time I was around there, she drug me all over the house and I got tired. Come on, come on, come on, come on. But the more she wanted to go, I was behind her. Why is it so important that we do all that we can? Guys, I got news for you. Our stay here is short, right? It, it's short. So if, if we were to spend all our time here, it's short compared to what? So we need to get in this mindset. Let's operate out of love and understand that our stay here is short. And what are we looking for? Eternity to be with the Lord, right? How do we do it? Believe, accepting, trust, and love people. Why do I say love people? The more you love, the more it, the, the more we love people, what we're trying to make that make of an impact. Now, why do I say that? I want to stop for a second. I just want to say, why is it so important that we impact somebody else's life? Why is it so important? Why do I bring that up all the time, Chris? Because it serves a lot of purposes, like to be impacting other Christian people after you made them realize that you're going to them. Amen. But if you are impacting someone else's life, like an Christian or a Christian or whatever, 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 but there are so many folks out there who didn't have a chance to join the church. So if we can make that impact, we need to. Now I'm going to close. I'm not going to hold you, hold you guys long there. What? But I want to say this one more time. As we go about our way, I want us to not worry about how much do we have to do. Because of what that's saying, we are operating out of the wrong Hey, that's the flesh. If we can be led by the Spirit. And I like what Cheryl said. Cheryl, I enjoy you so much. Because you talk back. But the Lord wants us to all do just that. Talk back and talk up for him. Speak up for the Lord. And we all have a voice. But as we go about our way hey, this week, we are to operate out of a place of love. Close in prayer, Lord, as we go our way, Lord, I just pray as we have opportunity and chance, Lord, we always stop and thank and offer what we get out of the pl pl place of what we are. Hey, as we, hey, we tr try to help you, Lord, hey, lead folks to hey, you and your, hey, your name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Robert.